yo what's going on guys i'm a little late on this video i just woke up it's like two hours after the banner so forgive me but today we'll be looking at the newest banner which is a flash gal banner for september 16th which is pretty okay let's go take a look here so i believe that we have three rate up units i did take a little peek at it before doing this video so we have col today's rate ups are colossus which is um surprising i was not expecting colossus to be playable that means right now we have three of the magnets playable being yig um yig tmont and colossus missing leviathan sev and celeste now we do have Sara, which I actually did expect her to be playable, thanks to some <clears throat> outside means. Um, I did not expect her to be light though. I, I wonder why they put her in light. I don't think she really needed in light though. And we probably have the cat that most people here are looking for, and you probably already sparked them if you know, but before this video even goes up. So Shiva, she would be um, back as a rate up unit which is pretty good not to mention Shiva Bo getting a um, four star so we'll be looking at here we're looking at Shiva um, all star all star meaning that it was what people are probably going for slash four star weapon so do we have any info on the four star weapon here before we go in um, they didn't mention the four-star weapon here? Hmm. Do they not mention the four-star weapon th there? I see United Fight coming soon. But they don't have anything about the four-star weapon, unfortunately. Uh, that's unfortunate. We'll just click on this then. Okay. So we go with Shiro Bow. Because I'm pretty sure people talk about that. Now, with Shiro Bow, it does gain crit. Um, boost a, a large boost to all allies crit kind of similar to Folia's bow mm. I did mention it's the possibility and Because it's crit right now. It's not that great. It can be useful though in the six dragons But just the fact that you know It's pretty okay. Uh, I mean, it's not nothing like Break like groundbreaking where you have to rush out to get it it's more for people who already have an optimal grid to find a new way to try to push their damage up. So that's unfortunate. Um, it's it's okay at best. It's probably like a tier three. Tier three, I, mean, I think it's like tier two to three, depending on high dragons. Depends on six dragons. So it's like tier two to three, depending. It's a one-up though. One of, just one, because um, you can probably stack Rackham guns with it. Like I, I don't think you need. Like most of the time, you're probably gonna be running double Agni, I believe, with this build. So you don't really need, um, like multiple of the bow. You probably run double Agni, and then like probably running some Rackham guns or something. So that's what I think right now, at least. I don't, I don't think um, it's that great. That's a lot actually put there, but there's no no summon rate up, uh, rate up summons none. So I to put that back right here. One thing to note: let's see the rate up actually. I don't actually don't know the rate up percent. I'm guessing it's about like two point uh, five zero. Did I say two point five zero? I meant to say zero point two point five. I think, man, what I'm trying to say, I just woke up, forgive me, but it's 0.25, I'm guessing. 0.25. I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, brother. Doing it when you just wake up? Probably not the best idea. Right. Oh, what the? I'm lagging and whatnot. Oh, we having technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> How did we even get here, bro? Yo, we are having technical difficulties right now at the highest level. Okay, so we got the draw rates here. So it's about, I think I got to see it earlier. 
actually. So she uh, point three actually. Point three is not bad. Um, for grand blue, this is okay. <laughs> this is average. It's, it's it's not like groundbreaking levels, but it's it's average. Um, so that's not bad at, at all. You're not likely to still get it on a spark, but you're more likely to get it than let's say when it was like point two and point two five. So unfortunately, because Grand Blue has so many characters in the game, um, it's going to be rather hard for people to spark what they're looking for. Now, what you probably want to talk about is first of all, let's look at Colossus Weapon, which is really a big one. Metal Destroyer. It does come with a four star. And comes with the premium boost to all allies fire damage cap. So let's see. Four star weapon. I'm gonna break this down a little bit. I'm gonna have to make some break points. So it's a four star weapon. Boost. To, wait, let's put premium boost to all damage cap, which is 7%, and it does stack with Suzaku. Um, seven percent. So this is pretty big, actually, for fire, I believe. Um, now you you have another way to boost damage cap to get fourteen percent, especially for people who are running like completely grids. Like for example, take a look at like a, a completed fire grid. Um, like you you do have space here. Oh, uh, this is off L. This is on LE. I mean, off LE. Right? What is on LE? Bro, where's it on LE grid? You need wondered. On LE grid. On, on LE grid. Where? Doga? On LE. This gotta be on LE, right? On LE. Yeah, on LE. Okay, so in this grid, you could drop one of the katanas before a Colossus weapon. Now, obviously. Most people are probably not getting four versions of this weapon, and I do not recommend to bar it. Um, while the damage cap is really good, if you're barring this weapon, you already know that you're going to bar this weapon even before me making this video. So if you're somebody who's going to listen to me, don't bar the weapon. Um, so it's throwing it out there. This is more for people who have like actual finished grids. So I do be I do believe that the weapon is actually good, but I, it's something that for people who like have like this many katanas and they're like okay we could drop a katana here and get that extra seven percent cap up because it does go up to 20. suzaku's katana is at seven so running colossus weapon will put you at 14. so i do believe it's a good weapon but not for majority of players so that's my that's my opinion on the um the weapon in case people are wanting to look at that now we'll take a little quick look at colossus here uh, i don't want to talk too much about him things i won't mention he is primal which is a big oof for something like fire raid as athena's primal and i don't think he was placing athena he's sword and axe which is okay there's not many act units in fire the only ones that come to my mind is like adios um so there's not a ton of axe units in fire but saber it's very common so that's, that's okay enough he has an unworldly fire damage to a foe, which is really insane um, because the multiplier is so high, I believe, like times eight Ogi damage. The only problem with these unworldly characters, like Robomi is another example of an unworldly damage. These characters are restricted on their Ogi because their Ogi is so strong. So for him, he's restricted that he can only Ogi with 200% charge bar, which is a problem, though you do fire is the element with Anilla. So you do have an option there to give him more charge bar speed. He gains uplift. I don't know the percent on the uplift, but I will have to say the uplift has to be higher than your average uplift. The average uplift is only 10 and 10% uplift is not good enough for him. It is not. It has to be higher than 10 for it to be viable for him. His skill two force field. I don't know how I feel about this one. He gains a, a, like an intense amount of defense, kind of similar to Sara. Um, Vera too, but he gains no hostility. He has no way of grabbing attacks. So it, I don't understand why he has that. Standby mode. 
It, I don't know how I feel about this one either. Uh, so you can only use it when he his heat level is max and he gains one heat per turn, meaning that this can only be used after turn five, which is a problem in itself. Upon that as well, he also loses, he also dies at the end of the turn. So it's, it's a pretty much an all or nothing skill, which is okay if you're going like to go for your end turn burst. It's not that bad. And he also gains a nuke at the end of it. But I just don't think it's like that amazing looking at his kit overall. Now he could be useful. Don't get me wrong. Every character has a use somewhere. Um, I just, this face glance at his kit. It's not like groundbreakingly broken or anything. So it seems more like a, like a, a niche character than a meta character. But what, who does look like a really good character here is Sara. Now Sara is in light. Um, light doesn't have much like phalanx units. They have Baratora, but, um, they don't have a ton of them. So her being here, first of all, her art's like really good. I think, I think, I think she looks pretty cute. No, I'm not going to jail. Please don't try to, no, I think she looks cute. I'm not saying like anything else It's cute. Okay, please. Now she gains massive light damage and she removes all debuffs from her. Also, if she has no debuffs, she gains a really good effect where she gets the, her skill two on Ogi. That's, that's really, really good. So I really do like that part a lot. Her skill one, I'm not a fan of it because it's dark damage cut really hurts her a ton because there's no LD change for a light. Uh, maybe in the future, but right now it's there's no LD change for light, meaning that it doesn't have the same viability that normal Phoenix would have. And it doesn't really work in Fa because even if you were to remove the seven, to not remove the seventh flavor. So if you don't remove seventh flavor, you don't really gain a ton because the damage you take is light damage. Her skill too, which is going to be really spam really fast because her Ogi and her hitting skill too, it's kind of similar to Alex. So she can gain stacks really quick. It gives shield effect to all other allies. This is really good. Because now um, Hal and Mal have more shield effect. Also, I believe this is a buff. That means that a character like Zoe would gain. No, mm, I believe because it's a it's a red skill, Zoe would not actually gain a buff. The way I believe Zoe's skill works is that it has to be green or yellow. So I don't know if this would give Zoe a buff, but I'm guessing I'm gonna guess no. But if it does work with Zoe, that's, that's insane. And her and Zoe is gonna be like a, a really insane combo. So we'll, we'll, I, I don't have the I don't have her yet, but maybe in the future if I do get her, maybe I'll know. But it's just depending on if this skill goes with Zoe. I'm guessing no though because it's a red skill. Like the bear, the the border around it is red, and that doesn't count for a buff. It's an attack skill. So I don't I don't know if it'll count as a buff for Zoe or not, unfortunately. But that can make a breaker for Zoe. But the skill will be procked a lot thanks to the fact that. It's, you can cast it and every time she ogies, as long as she has no debuffs and you're in the element with fun fun. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. She also gains substitute to the caster. Now, the way I look at this skill, I thought of Uno. It's because the, the icon is different. It has a very Uno-like icon and it, it's one turn. It's not one time hit. So I believe that she would gain this on her counters as well from her passive, she counters twice on passive. So I do believe this works in tandem together. So this this is pretty good, I think. I believe she can, this this pretty much turns into a light Uno. She doesn't have like the guarantee, she don't have any guaranteed multi-attack or anything. But from the way I'm reading it, I believe she would gain a Uno type of buff from this. I could be wrong though. She also gains boost of defense, hostility and debuff resistance. And she also gains her skill too every time the bosses do a trigger, which is really insane too. Um, I think like to be honest, she's really, really good from the way I look at her. So that's my opinion on her at least. I haven't tried her though, but if if I was rolling for any, I'd, I'd probably roll for her as a character. Cause I think her kit's really cool. Just because her skill three and her skill two. Her skill one is lackluster, I think, but what really makes her like unique is her skill three and skill two, and her passive really nice. I, I believe she counters upon taking damage every time. Oh, you know what they're trying to do right here. So because he gets a shield effect, right? 
you want her to not, you're actually not going to take damage because of her skill too. But if she does take damage, if you are able to break her shield, she'll counter upon taking damage. That's their way of like balancing her out is that they keep making her spam shield so she doesn't counter every hit. But that's pretty insane. If, if she does counter upon taking damage every time, I mean, you probably know you want to hit her skill too, to be honest. <laughs> like after you get a certain point, you probably won't even Ogi or hit her skill too anymore. Like once you get her to like a couple of stacks, like three or four, don't hit it no more. There's no point because you, you get the counters. The counters are better. In my opinion, counting with her skill three would be way better than using her skill. But that's how I look at it. I could be wrong. So, like I could be completely wrong, but I'm just looking at her face value. And then that's about it for this banner, I believe. Right? Oh, I did co op. Whoops, whoopsies. I believe that's Shiva, Sara. Both of them are surprise tickable. Um, Shiva, Shiva. I, mean, like, I don't think I have to mention anything about Shiva, but I probably should. Strong, overpowered, works in every comp for fire, goes everywhere, put them everywhere. Good debuff, permanent debuff, strong skill two, strong skill three, strong Ogi, good passive, does damage, hits harder than main character. There we go, Shiva. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I feel like even for a new player, they may not know that, so really good character. Now we're gonna take a look at the next banner. So next banner, my thoughts, right? So we do have a Siegfried event coming up, so it's been a while before we uh we had a new Siegfried Siegfried event, so possible SSR alt. So it's been a while. Like Lancelot has an alt. Or, um, Vayne technically has an alt because he originally was an SR. Siegfried still only has the Earth one and I guess the Summer one. So it's been a long time since we had like a new Siegfried. So it's possible that we could get a new Siegfried with her, with an older outfit maybe. So the event is based around him. Um, it's been a while since we had a new grand, new grand, um, possible. New grand. It's been a while. The next, the next, uh, the next GW is dark. So I, I don't know if I get another dark unit for grand, but a new grand is also possible. Um, new Surter summon so th those are the things i'm thinking about so a certain tier summon sort of tier summon so like maybe for water um i don't know if that if it's going to happen but i'm thinking about water water and light are probably the two best elements to go with the summon so it could be possible i'll type in water type in water so so these, this is what I'm looking at right here for the next banner. So we think we had a Siegfried event coming up. So Siegfried, SSR, all a new grand because we haven't had a new grand in a while. I think the last one was Shiva. Let me take a let me take a quick look though. Let me sure. Um, well, the last one was Grimnir. Uh, so this is all 2019, right? Yeah, I believe the last one was Grimnir in April. Unless you count the summer units, but the summer units technically, technically don't count. Yeah, so the last one was Grimnir. So it's been a while since we had a new Grand. So a new Grand unit is possible. Um, a new Surter type tier summon is also possible. And a Siegfried alt. Tell me how you guys feel about this. Thank you guys for watching. I know I rambled during it, but... If you guys like it, I'll keep doing it. If not, I'd be more condensed with it. I, I'll write everything down for people who want to skip to like the end of the video instead, just to get my ideas. But um, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. And if you leave a like and stuff, I'd be much appreciated. So goodbye.